Kids, we're so excited to be doing color chemistry today. Jace has been really into colors and mixing them up. So we're gonna do a super easy experiment and all it takes is some food coloring and some water. Jace, what kind of water is this? Did it come from like a glacier in the Antarctica? Is it special water that you look into and sing like Vanellope? No, it's not kids, it's from the sink. Sink water. We wanted to do a really simple DIY experiment that anybody can try from home, right? Yeah. How easy is it? Very easy. It is very easy. It's so simple that you could do it with your eyes closed and your hands tied behind your back. But we're gonna open our eyes. Yeah, it's true. You could do it with your eyes closed and your hands tied behind your back, but we would recommend opening your eyes when you try this experiment. Yeah, and do you know what does this do? Oh. Either we're doing science or we're cooking a turkey. <laughs> Follow us for more recipes. We are doing science! <laughs> we are doing some science. First step, food coloring. Let's do it. Kids, we're so excited today that we're going to show you how we blend and mix our primary colors. What's a primary color? You know what? Maybe you should go ask Enzo. Yeah! Hi, Enzo! Chase, always nice to scan your face. What questions can I answer for you today? Today I have a question for you. Primary colors! What are the primary colors? Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. What about all the other colors? The secondary colors are made by mixing primary colors together. Which colors make the other colors? I think you're about to find that out today. And hey, Jace, what did the mama rainbow say to the baby rainbow? Um, I don't know. Don't use that tone with me. Get it? Tone? <laughs> Enjoy the experiment, kids. Bye, Enzo! Dad, are you making a rainbow? Why do you want to make a rainbow, pal? Because there's gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, you buy so many toys? Let's all go. We're gonna buy waffles. Waffles. I'm rich. Yes, we're gonna start with the food color. Why don't you grab the box for me, buddy? Um, yeah, let's open. I'm gonna open the box. Yeah, open it up, buddy. Show me what's inside. Now, kids, oh. this is just regular. Oh. 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 If you're doing this at home, pick, don't pick your nose on Jace's planet. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. What else is it, <laughs> yeah, it was a scratch. It was not a pick. It was just a scratch. It was a pick. <clears throat> mm, it smells like the back and cheese. <laughs> Kids. This is nothing special. It's just your average run-of-the-mill food coloring. So if you want to try this at home, just ask your parents to get you some food coloring from your local grocery store. Yeah. And while you're there, maybe get some waffles. I don't know. They are delicious. Yeah. We love waffles. We love them so much, kids. Show the kids what we got, buddy. What colors do we have in there, buddy? We have yellow, blue, and red. And what kind of colors are these? You talked to Enzo. What did he tell you? What are these three colors called? He told me these are the primary colors. That's right, kids. These three colors, yellow, blue, and red, these are what are called primary colors. Do you know what that means, Jace? What? It means that every other color inside of the rainbow is made up of a mix of these three beautiful colors. Yeah. Isn't that so cool? Science is amazing. It really is. What color do we want to make for the pet? <laughs> Well, I would say green. What do you think? Green. What colors, out of the primary colors, do you think is going to make green? Um, I think blue and yellow. Kids, we're going to test this hypothesis. Jace thinks that blue and yellow make green. We're going to go ahead and mix these together and see what we come up with. Hey, kids. How many 
drops do I mean for blue? Kids, tell Jace, what do you think? How many drops? Hmm. Comment below. Four. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. Next is the yellow. Yeah, we mean 10 drops of yellow. Look at that, isn't that so nice? It's like a potion. Excellent job, doctor. Now the reason, kids, why we put more yellow than blue is because you can see the blue seems to be a lot stronger and darker of a color than the yellow. And we wanna make sure that they mix nice and equally. So we went ahead and we used more drops of yellow than blue. And we don't know if that's gonna work for sure, but that's what science is all about, just trying it out. Just try it out. Just try it out. So kids, first, we're gonna open up these tubes. So this is actually from our Beaker Creatures kit, which we did in a video way back in a past life, but we're gonna use it today to try to mix the colors for you. First I'm pouring yellow. We're gonna go ahead and fill these tubes. Now these tubes are gonna hold the individual liquids until we decide to push them down and mix them in the middle. And that's why we usually use a spill guard, but we didn't today. What are you gonna do? It's okay, buddy. What happened to the, the, the table? Next time I'm gonna so kids, to recap, we've got yellow in tube number one, and we're putting blue in tube number two. Yeah, it's so That's weird it. that it's running. That's good. This is, geez, we're not leaving any any room here. We're just still right to the top. Now, what do we do next, Jace? Push. No, let's mix them in. Whoa, so one tube had yellow. Now we're mixing in the blue. It's mixing in the center repository. Look kids, we make green. That's right, so Jace's hypothesis was correct. Blue plus yellow equals green. Green, green just like what? G -g Grass and plants. And one more thing that's green. G -g -g <laughs> green? It does start with a G though, very confusing. I'm so good at my colors. It's true. You really are good at your colors, buddy. I think we should do red and yellow. So red and yellow are going to make another color, a whole third color. I but I good. have no idea what it is. What do you think it's going to be? Orange. Orange. That's, that's what color Garfield really is. Yeah, he's not green. He's orange. So let's make orange next. You're going to do red. You want me to do red and you do the yellow? Yeah. Okay, how many drops of yellow do you think we're going to do? Um, Maybe... I would say let's do at least 11. Let's turn it up to 11, right? Okay, and I'm just gonna do two drops of red. Similar to last time, kids, we know that the red and the blue are a lot stronger than the yellow, so we're gonna need more of the yellow drops than we have of the red drops to make sure that we get a good, even color. And we're gonna use this turkey baster, because it isn't Thanksgiving. It's not a turkey baster. Stir our beacons. You're gonna pour the red. I'm gonna pour the red. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna pour the yellow. Cheers. So we go ahead and we take the syringes out of our kit. Then pour it in our mouth. And we don't pour it in our mouth. This isn't juice. I know it looks delicious, but it's not juice. So Jace is gonna go ahead and pour that yellow. That's okay. Maybe that's a little bit of <laughs> like sludge. Daddy's gonna pour the red. Doesn't that look kind of like Kool-Aid? That looks like gold. You look kind of like fruit punch. <laughs> okay, kids, we've got red in one side. We've got yellow in the other side. You push the red. I'm going to push the red. You're going to push the yellow. What do we got? In the middle. Orange. We did. We've made some orange. Buddy, what are some cool things that start with the color orange? Snake. A snake? Kids, sometimes when you're doing science and the experiment's taking too long, it's good to just have a dance break. Let's do it. <laughs> What's your favorite part of science class? Is it the hypothesis? Is it the experiment? It's the dance! It's the dance! <laughs> The 
moves. <laughs> this looks like orange juice, but I'm going to drink it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> At least not unless you share it with daddy. <laughs> so kids, red plus yellow equals... Orange! That's right, so far Jace is two for two. We've got one experiment left, stay tuned. Stay tuned, kids. <laughs> That's right, Jacer. What's the final color that we're trying to create? Purple. And what do you think that red plus blue equals? I think pink. Red plus blue equals pink? Yeah. Well, you know what? That's the great thing about science. You put a hypothesis to the test. So let's go ahead, kids, and test if red plus blue equals pink. Yeah. Kids, don't be afraid to try. That's right. Which one do you want to do, blue or red? Okay, Jace is gonna do the red. What's Daddy gonna do? Blue. So Daddy did the blue and Jace did the red. What the? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Please stand by. Afternoon. It's a celebration. Kids, Jace is gonna go ahead and pour red in one tube. Daddy's gonna pour blue in another tube and we're gonna go ahead and see what color it makes. What did it make? Kids, let's stir this around and see what it made. So we have mixed blue and we have mixed red. Let's see what we came back with. It was purple. It's totally purple. Dad, I'm upset that I got one wrong. Well, kids, you should never be upset for taking your best educated guess at something. You know what, kids? The lesson that we learn here is that we're not always going to be right all the time. Sometimes we're going to make mistakes, but that's okay because we keep on trying. And when we make a mistake, we learn something. Yeah. Kids, thank you for doing mad science. Yeah, we always appreciate when you come and hang out with us on Jace's Planet. Today we did color chemistry. If you like this episode, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to see when we make new content. And hey, if there's any science experiments that the kids want to see us do, comment below and let us know in the thread. We'll try to do some more of these DIY experiments for you. Cheers. Bye kids. Oh, bye kids. <laughs> we got an accident here. <laughs> Would you got a mess to clean up, mommy? No, honey. This is nightmare. <laughs>